Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to be solving an exponential equation with natural logs. We have the quantity ln y to the power x equals ln y to the power x. So we're going to be solving for y values. That would also be a good question, like can we solve for x values? Let's take a look. And I'm going to show you a graph at the end. So let's get started. Now, this might look like an identity, right? But it's not. Is it? No. Because notice that this x belongs to this base, but here the base is ln y. So the bases are different, and we do have a power property that tells us, hey, you can bring this to the front, but it doesn't apply here because it's basically something to the x power. Make sense? Okay, so, but we can do it on the right hand side. So let's go ahead and leave the left hand side as is and move this x to the front and write it as x times ln y. So we can't move that x on the left, so we're going to leave it like that. But one thing we can do is, and think about this, we're trying to solve for y. So it will make sense if we have uh, everything on the same side that contains y. So we're going to divide, let's go ahead and divide both sides by ln y, provided that ln y does not equal 0 which means y does not equal 1. Now what happens if y equals 1? Think about it for a second. And you're going to get 0 to the power x, right? ln y is going to be, um, if y is 1, then ln y is going to be 0. So you're going to get 0 to the power x. And then you're going to have ln, since y is 1, you're going to get 1 to the power x. And 0 to the power x is 0 as long as x is not 0. Some people claim that 0 to the power 0 is 1. But anyways, that's a different story. And if you bring this x to the front, you get x ln 1, which is 0, again, if x does not. Well, even if x is 0, I think this is going to work. So, looks like y equals 1 is a valid solution. But now, for now, we, we need to assume y does not equal 1. So that we're not making anything undefined. ln y cancels out, and then we end up with something like this. Notice that this is ln y to the first power. So now we're dividing two powers with the same base. What does that mean? It means we're going to subtract the exponents. Let's do it. ln y is the base, and the exponent, the new exponent, is going to be x. The new exponent is going to be x minus 1. Okay, we have x on the right-hand side. We're almost there. Remember, always keep in mind, we're trying to solve for y. And don't ask why. How do you do it? We kind of need to put the x minus 1 on the right hand side. So let's go ahead and do this. And you can also think about it like what happens if x is equal to 1? Is this going to work? We can also talk about it real quick. If x is equal to 1, then you're going to get ln y to the first power equals ln y to the first power, which is the same as ln y. So it's going to work. Actually, x equals 1 is a solution as well. Great. So Here's what we're going to do, though. We're going to assume x does not equal 1, and we're going to raise both sides to the power. Let's do it here. Let's raise both sides to the power, 1 over x minus 1 and 1 over x minus 1. Make sense? And then these two are reciprocals. They're going to cancel out as long as x minus 1 does not equal 0. And we get ln y equals x to the power 1 over x minus 1. Isn't that interesting? We got this relationship. Now, we were trying to solve for y and we're so close. What is y? If you know that e to the power ln y equals y, then you can do e to the power both sides. Let's do it. e to the power ln y is e to the power x to the power 1 over x minus 1. And then this becomes y. And y equals e to the power x to the power 1 over x minus 1. Awesome. So that seems to be y in terms of x. Such an interesting function, right? Of course, we kind of need to talk about the domain, the range, lots of complications. But don't worry, we don't need to get into those because we accomplished the goal, which was uh, solving for y. So we're pretty much done, but let me show you, as promised, the graph. And the graph is kind of interesting. I don't know why it's interesting, but I just find it interesting. And there's something really cool about this graph is that kind of it's kind of cut off. So when you try to zoom in and zoom out, I don't know if there's a discontinuity or 
Desmos cannot resolve this because sometimes that happens, but it usually gives you a message. Anyways, this is the graph of this relationship. And this brings us to the end of this video. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you next time with another video. Until then, be safe, take care, and bye-bye.